and I am here with another swatching video. Um, I need to put my ink samples away from the um, January ink flight. I still haven't swatched them because I wanted to kind of do that on camera. Um, so I have uh, January's ink flight, which was Sailor. This is some Sailor inks, the Sailor Manio, Manio. Um, inks. We're going to swatch these inks on my coloring card so I can put them away. And yeah, I thought I'd record it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'm just going to get going. <laughs> the first one, I don't have any of the papers. I don't have any of the goodies with me. I'm literally just swatching the inks um, on my cards so I can get on with life. So we have Sailor Sumir. And yeah, I just wanted to get these kind of cataloged and taken care of and wanted to record it. So what I did actually, the very first video I ever recorded, the first video that you saw was my February um, ink flight. This is, sorry, I think I bumped the camera. This is the January ink flight, but what I did is I had a crap ton of samples. Um, and what I did was I recorded myself swatching them just and doing the coloring cards and all that stuff and just doing that and it was like an hour and a half and I was like there's nobody there's no way um 2020 there's no way that somebody's gonna watch a brand new video that's like an hour and a half long so I didn't do anything with it I have it I edited the crap out of it and put it all together and spliced it all together and cut out all the like all the nonsense, but um, yeah, I just never did anything with it. So if you want to watch an hour and a half long video, um, actually I think I, oh, I just went right over the name. <laughs> okay, I'll fix that. Um, if you want to watch it, <laughs> I'm a dumbass. If you want to watch an hour and a half video, hour and a half long video, hour, yeah, am I saying words right? I don't know. An hour and a half long video of me swatching different ink samples, um, go ahead. But um, the thing is, is I was also going to include these swatches in that video. And um, I didn't because it was an hour and a half long already and I didn't want to do any more. So, um, so I didn't and I saved them for later and that later time is now, but you didn't get to see the rest of the video. <laughs> So if you're interested, I had a bunch of like Goulet samples and a bunch of Vinness pen samples and I was really excited about it actually. I just rambled on and on, kind of like I'm doing right now. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, if you're interested, let me know and maybe I'll post it. And if you're not interested, then I guess it'll just live on my computer. This is an ink that's like one of those bluey, Pacific-y blues, ocean-y blues that doesn't show up on my camera very well because of the lighting, but there you go. Ta-da. A serviceable blue, I suppose. And I'm not doing these really in any order. This one looks like it's gonna be fun. Oops, can you see? This is Sailor Ha Ha, which I think somebody said told me means like mom, or maybe I read it somewhere, it means mom or mother. I don't know if that's right though. But this is one of those inks. Oops. Sailor. That's super pale but super shady and shades a bunch of different colors. Oh, I need the ink. I need the ink so I can paint myself. Oh, that looks much darker on camera than it does actually in person. It's very pale in person. Sorry, allergies. Let's try not to paint over the word this time. That'd be great. Oh, that's pretty cool right there in the... Do, 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 
That's really pretty. This looks, yeah, this looks way darker on camera than it does in person. Or maybe it's just how it looks on my phone. I love what it did right here where it kind of like broke. But yeah. And then I thought of doing, so another project that I want to do, I'm thinking about all these videos that I can make because I don't really, like I get the ink flight, but I haven't really, like I'm not really buying ink. I was going to say yarn. I just came from a knitting convention. Um, I'm not really buying things right now. I'm going to, I have one bottle of ink that um, is on its way. Well, it's not on its way yet. I have to push order and I haven't done that yet. Um, so I'm just cleaning my brush out. It's not, it's not clean. That first blue is not cleaning very well. Um, blue stick in my brushes. I don't know why that is, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I wanted, I have ink coming. The, from the last ink flight, I, um, am ordering a bottle of that Gourmet Pens Pink. Cause it's so pretty. And I will use the crap out of it, so. Um, yeah. Let me paper around. Do, 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 do. So yeah, so oh, I'm going to save this one for last. Um, I'm going to do this one. I actually, this is, I'm going to do the Yamabuki next. I actually have a highlighter that I got from Tokyo Pen Shop that is called Yamabuki. That's basically like the same color and it's so pretty and it's one of my favorite highlighters. Um, Right first. I get on camera and I don't know my own like freaking swatch process. Like I don't know what that's about. I do this all the time. Oops. Hello. Come here, ink. Come here, ink. Come here, ink, ink, ink. It's so pale it doesn't even write. Okay, that's better. Whoops, say or Oops. I don't feel like I got enough on here. And then what I did get on here, I took off. Okay. So anyway, yeah. How's it going? How are you guys doing? Um, if you watched my first video, thank you so much. I had 24 views. I think, um, like 20 of those are my own. <laughs> okay. Not really, but seriously, if you did watch the video, thank you. I had, um, my very first comment and, um, that was pretty cool. And I got my first like, and I've got my first couple subscribers and that's pretty cool. So thank you all for watching. And even if you didn't subscribe or comment or anything, if you watched it, even even a couple minutes of it. Thank you for doing so. If you've come back, um, yeah. And if not, well, that's that's fine. But <laughs> like I said, I'm not the boss of you, so you do what you want. Um, yeah. I feel like you're not really getting my like full personality in these videos because I'm really shy when I first like meet people. Um, so I feel like that's kind of translating into these videos and like once we become friends, um, you pretty much won't get me to shut up. So yeah, um, yeah. Or once I force my way into your email inbox, you won't get me to shut up. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, so I feel like um, I'm actually, like I said, really sarcastic and really silly and I giggle a lot and whatever and for whatever reason I turn the camera on and I'm immediately nervous so that's just me and my shy self so god none of these look right I hope they look I thought that when I did the last batch though and then they looked fine on my computer so hopefully that translates and it's the same sort of thing um boop 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 there we go 
mix it up. I'm getting water all over my ink labels. I'm gonna do this one next. It's the Tealy Blue Yo Yomogi. Yomogi. I was with my friend this weekend at the knitting thing, the convention. If you are a knitter and you have found my video, if you are a pen, a pen peep who knits, um, yeah, I was at Stitches West this weekend in Santa Clara. Um, me and my girlfriends go um, every year. And I actually wasn't going to go this year, but they were like, no, you're not allowed to not go. So I ended up going down there a day late and having a great time. And I spent barely any money, which is always a good thing. But what we did is we... Um, went through our yarn stashes uh, like two weeks before we went to stitches and I think that helped. Like I realized that I had a lot of yarn and I don't need more yarn. So um, one of my friends won a prize and she ended up using her prize to give me a skein of yarn from the shop that I wanted, which was super sweet of her and um, so grateful. And then um, one of my other friends, a sweater that I wanna make, I love this blue. I love this blue so much. She ended up um, finding at a booth this rainbow yarn. I want to make this sweater, and um, it has a main body color, and I'm going to make it in gray, but there's, like, some spiffy colors that happen, and I wanted to do it in a rainbow yarn, and one of my friends was like, oh, here's your rainbow, here's your rainbow, and I was being really picky about the rainbows that I wanted because everybody dyes yarn differently, and so it might not have the same it might look different so or, or they use different dyes or they put it on differently or their water is different or whatever like everybody everybody who dyes yarn has their own sort of process so um or the dyes they use or whatever they have their own recipes and they have their own things and whatever so I was kind of had something in mind but I didn't know how to explain what I wanted and so I um kind of was like she was like oh here they have a they have a rainbow over here and so I went to go look at it and it was perfect it was exactly what I was envisioning and um so I bought that and that is basically what I bought at Stitches so super fun but it's always a fun weekend with my friends and um yeah so I'm glad I did it even though I really shouldn't have but I basically like as soon as I go back to work from the event, I'm actually off today because I usually take the day after just so I can like chill out and relax and get back to real life. And um, I am, that's why I'm home today and I'm recording videos. I've recorded a bunch of videos that I will um, learn how to schedule, hopefully. <laughs> and um, then I'll have videos coming because my recording setup is kind of, it's very temporary. And so I have to put it up every time that I use it. And I don't like doing recordings when other people are here, so I have to do it when I'm alone, and that is what this is, so. <laughs> I actually wanted to start recording a lot earlier than today, but um, the front door got replaced, so they made a lot of noise, so I could not do that. So anyway, so what is your favorite, like, pen or ink or whatever? What is, um, yeah, something about you, my couple of viewers? Or if you end up happening upon this video. 2020. My favorite ink is Robert Oster Sydney La Lavender. It's kind of complex. It's one of those complex yarn that kind of like shades a couple different colors. It, it has it's like a dark purple gray, but then it has like blue in it and pink in it, and it's really pretty. I can't remember if I showed that in the video that I didn't post. I think, well, I, I've only made one video, <laughs> which is the ink flight, so I know that I didn't show it, but I did swatch it in that video that I have not shown. Um, yeah, I should just not refer to that anymore, unless somebody wants to see it, uh, but yeah. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. Um, also, another thing that I was kind of thinking about doing is I have swatch cards. So I have coloring cards. I have it split out. I have them split out. I have coloring cards for my bottled ink. 
and I have coloring cards for, I'm going to do a second layer of this just because I want to see what it does. Um, I have a coloring for my ink lights, I have a coloring for shimmery samples, and I have a coloring for basically everything else. Like the eight gajillion ink samples that I get from Goulet. So pretty, I love this color. Um, so I want to redo my bottled ink swatches because when I started using the color rings, I was just using like a Q-tip and going over it a couple of times. But now I do this like paint on method, which I like a whole lot more. So I was thinking about um, redoing my color ring swatches for my bottled inks. I might have a couple of samples that are like that, but the bottled ink is most, mostly the bottled ink is swatched like that. And I want to swatch it like this for, like I do here for consistency, for consistency purposes. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Um, oh shoot. But I also don't want to waste the cards that I have. So I was thinking about just painting over where I have the like, the swab, just painting over it. And I'll get like extra layers of color, but it will just look a little nicer um, and be a little more consistent, like in general. Like it won't be completely consistent, but I don't wanna waste the cards. Like they're perfectly good cards. They're just not formatted the way that I do them now. So I was thinking about maybe, ooh, I like this one. This one's a little more pinky, a little more purpley. The other one's like a reddish burgundy purple, and this is like a pinky purple. Look heavy. So, yeah, I don't know. What would you think? Would you want to watch me do that? Or no? I might just do it anyway. Who knows? It's my channel. I do what I want. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you want to watch me do it. <laughs> So yeah, oh, I need to paint it now. And I'll get another ink flight in a couple of weeks. It'll probably, oh, I really like this color. It's a good thing that I don't buy every ink that I get in these ink flights, otherwise, yeah, it'd be crazy. Do a little more like that. Do, 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 that's really pretty. I love what it looks like down here in the corner. And last one, saving this one for last because this is going to be the most interesting fun one, I think. Turn my paper a little bit so it's dry over here. too. It's like that haha, -ha, except it's purple, which of course I love. Are there any videos you'd like to see? I know it's hard, like, it's hard to like suggest anything when you've seen like one video from me. So, or maybe by the time this goes up a couple of videos for me, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just going to kind of do what I want to do and if you watch it, cool, and if you don't watch it, oh well. <laughs> like, I think it's fun. I think it's fun doing these. It's so fun. I have a lot of fun watching these, so I'm having like super fun kind of doing them. It's a lot more work to do the videos than to watch the videos. It's crazy how dark this looks on my phone. I hope this translates when I like transfer it to my computer. This does not want to come out. This looks like heavy. Let's try this one. Oh, that doesn't want to come out either. Okay. All right. That's better. Ooh. 
Oh, pretty. I would struggle to write with this ink because it's so, it's so pale. I just have ink here. Okay. Alrighty. So that's that. Let me let these dry for a second and show you the finished product. Even though this isn't a spoiler, this is just me playing. So pretty. Oh, I just flicked the card a little bit, got ink everywhere. <laughs> At least it's a light colored one. It's not freaking base day blue. Oh, also what um, I ended up um, putting the cartridge in this pen and just using the cartridge just because I want to. I didn't realize this cartridge was a blue black ink and I love blue black so I decided to go ahead and use the cartridge and then I can just refill the cartridge and then I don't have to get the body the body of the pen all disgusting so this is from the February box this is the um, emerald green pre prefonte prefont whatever it's that um, yeah so it looks really light on the paper but it looks pretty dark on my phone so we'll see what it looks like when you see it so this is still drying a little bit but here it is with the second layer so I love that little circle bit that little tiny little like bright bit right there do, 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 do. So there's that. There's that. and then we have here's the haha -ha next to it Oops, you can't see that at all. And then we have Yomogi and Sumir, which I also managed to smear somehow. And Kuzu, Kuzu. And a Kebi. Oops, come back. And Yamabuko. See what I mean about the curling though? When I go, I didn't go straight down on this one. Or maybe I did at the very end, but this one curls, but like this one didn't. And this one didn't. And this one didn't. This one did a little bit, but this one isn't. This one a little bit, but in the end, they actually become a little more straight, so. Ta-da! I think of the darker ready purple ones, I like this one better because it's more pinky purpley. I actually love this. This is kind of meh. I love this one too, but like how many freaking teal inks do I need to use? Oh, can you see there's actually a little bit of sheen in the darker edge bits right there. And yep, I love this. I love this one so much. I love these on the swatches, but I don't know that I would love writing with them but we'll see like that's that's a pretty color anyway thank you so much for watching that was um my swatching of ink flight from january i think it's ink flight 36 i looked it up because oh so i um went ahead and made a spreadsheet because i have 800 gajillion ink samples and i wanted to keep them all straight and basically i took my coloring cards and um, just catalog them in a spreadsheet so if you are interested in seeing what I have, um, if there's um, a bottle link that I have, I'm happy to send you some samples. I have sent out like a million samples already, but I would definitely be happy to share if you wanted to, either trade or I can just send you something if you want to try it. Um, yeah. So anyway, 
Thank you so much for watching. Like if you feel like it, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. Um, I love all of those things and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care, bye.